it's Belle. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. It's a shorter one. This was, I think, the beginning of the heightened funk I got in. And it got worse, but I'm trying to get better, so. And this is still from October, so I'm catching up to doing posting these as well. But I hope you enjoy the vlog. Well, it's Thursday, October 13th. I've been feeling the best and I've had an almost migraine for like two days. I feel it. I'm trying to stop it, but it just won't go away. Uh, I got some book mail yesterday from HarperCollins. So I thought I'd open it now. Finally. Oh, yeah. I didn't know I was getting the first book, too, but I won the second book in a uh, giveaway on uh, Instagram. There's Grant, there's um, Tor, one of his pages. The Supernatural Society Curse of the Werewolves by Rex Ogle. I'm so excited. And they sent the paperback of the first one. Yeah, thank you so much. And just now, the door with a delivery. And it's a box this time. From Penguin Random House. And it says, on sale date, November 1st. Yay! This is the second book in the Doodle graphic novel series, Chad Sale. I have the first book. And this is Art Attacks. This sent a hardback copy. And then one of my anticipated releases of the year is the Sweet Valley Twins graphic novel adaptation. And it's Francine Pascal, Sweet Valley Twins. Best Friends. It says Nicole Andelfinger and Claudia Aguilar. So besides like Babysitter's Club and Fear Street and some others, Babysitter's Club and Sweet Valley were the main things growing up I read. Like I had all of the Sweet Valley books. And this is the graphic novel getting it like the babysitter's club did and i'm so excited oh, yay. and then lastly i know i'm oh no it is time back up my way super world save noah by yarrow and carrie chinny and it looks like a regular novel so it's very different and i really like that all these are november 1st and what the outside of this package says so excited thank you so much yay I'm so excited back. Yeah, it's Monday, October 17th. It's a busy weekend. We extended our backyard fence. We had more yard than we thought we did because our neighbor, he rents his house from his mother-in-law. I don't even know if he even has to pay rent. He doesn't work. He's just there all day sawing stuff and making stuff out of sticks. And you smell um, him smoking certain things he shouldn't be. And this is what got me kind of fired up about cats the other day just because in the litter because they have like eight cats in that house. Well, um, it's actually more towards between probably 10 and 20 cats and there's even been in the newsletters the burgers want to know why there's such a cat problem with stray cats because their cats get out too and then, and then they breed make more cats because none of their cats are fixed which is probably why they have so many 
Like there's a cat in every window. You see them um, over the kitchen sink. You can see through the window them on the counter. Like it's just bad. So. And they, I don't know if they don't change the litter or what, but if you're on that side of the house, and especially if it's like windy. Oh, and when it was hot outside, it was even worse. But all you can smell is like the cat litter box and it's horrible. And for some reason, he just doesn't, I don't know. But when my pup was still here, we were walking around the side of the fence. It's still in our yard because, like, he had way more yard than he thought he did before he complained. <laughs> but she and, she and my husband is taking her for one for of their walks. And sometimes he forgets to take the the poo bags, even though it was in her yard. But, I, but he was going to come and get them and then uh, go pick it back up. But either way, it doesn't matter. It was, our, it was her yard. And so he's yelling at my husband. My husband's 6'2", and this guy is like... And we heard stories about drug stuff with him not just the smoking stuff just like some serious stuff so and then i because i go out there and because i hear him and he's yelling at my husband and he's cussing and talking about her doing that and he's like oh, i have to mow the grass and step in it and i don't even have a dog but yet he can live with that smell of that cat litter box and i see him when my husband turns my back because i'm standing at the back door um on the for, to go to the back deck and he picks up my pups poo with his bare hand and throws it into our backyard inside the fence like you don't want to step in it but you can pick it up with your bare hand you're so weird and like and he had a smile on his face like he was showing him because my husband's back was turned and I yelled at him and so he tried to say that that was his yard and he's been mowing it when it's not because it was right beside the fence so he called, like Pennsylvania has boroughs. I don't know if it's like that everywhere and we're in a borough. And so the borough like all controls it. And so by him snitching and calling and all that stuff, it turns out he has less yard than he thought. We gained like so much more yard. His yard basically ends at his driveway. I got a whole new tree, bushes. Like, so we extended the fence and what do you know? First thing this morning, he had his mommy-in-law call. Did you know that he put up a fence? Yeah, he did. He got a permit for it. He sent in his drawings, and he's gonna put up a border too with rocks. Oh, he's mad. Anyway, we spent all weekend doing that. That was some hard work. I helped him carrying the post and the concrete bags and the panels, and helping him hold him while he screwed stuff in, bringing his supplies. And Pennsylvania has a lot of rocks in the soil, so every time he used the auger to make the hole for the post, all these rocks come up because <laughs> that's just how it is. And I have a big old pile because I keep them because some of them are really cool looking and then I'll use them. But I've also been in a, it's like my funk's getting deeper. <laughs> so I like made one post, I think on Instagram Saturday. I didn't make any yesterday. Today's Monday. I haven't made any. Our the video should be going up today. I don't have one. I just haven't really been caring about anything. I don't know. But I need to, I got almost all my notes for my anticipated October releases. And it's the 17th of October. Finally, together, I just need to film the video now, but I don't know. Anyway, I ordered some bookmarks from the Curly Reader from her Etsy. I'll link her channel below. I ordered two, and there was only, there were some that weren't on there yet, I don't think, or she might have sold out, so they weren't on there, but I went back later and saw some more, so I ordered two more. But the first two I ordered... And they're like fall. Fairy tales do not snar start, nor do they end, at the dark forest by Ted Las Lasso. I just like that quote and the way it looks. And they're like the good quality. Sorry about my nails. I still gotta wait for that nail to grow a little bit more that I sawed off before I let them dremel on my nails. My nails were horrible after the fence weekend because no matter how much I scrubbed, they still looked dirty because we were in the dirt so much and I was helping so much and it took days to get all of it out of my nails so my nails look dirty that's why i can't tell if they do or not but i remember them being that way so then falling leaves and good books please and i love that and it's super fast ship the other two came it says fall makes me want to wrap up in a blanket and get lost in a good book yes 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 although i haven't even been reading that much either like i just i need to get out of this Reading forces you to quiet in a world that no longer makes place for that. John Green. I love that. And I love the illustration and the colors. I just love this round of bookmarks. I think these are going to be limited edition just for fall, so they won't always be on there. 
So I recommend her a lot. It's the Curly Reader on Instagram and her Etsy's the Curly Reader. So, and I've gotten a lot of her bookmarks over time. So, and they're all good quality and great pricing and just really love them. So every time I see that she's got some new ones coming out, I immediately go and check them out. And then HarperCollins had reached out and asked and I was like, yes, please. <laughs> so when I saw this, School for Good and Evil is my favorite series of all time, like I always say, by Soma Shinani. And the Netflix movie, I think it comes out the 19th, so day after tomorrow. I'm so excited. And they said there would be um, goodies in here, along with the movie tie-in. Someone like me taped this. Whenever I have to send something that has to be taped, like with this kind of tape, I tape it. And like when we were moving, I did the same thing, and my husband was like, I'm like well, my stuff ain't falling out. If you're gonna tape it, tape it, so I appreciate this. I have to stop because I'm gonna want to go take pictures. But okay, so I'll show you what it looks like right now, and then I'll come back after I take my pictures for my Instagram post. So, the worldwide bestseller, and here, if you know who they are, you want a copy, a paperback copy of the tie in. Posters and the journal. Some nail polishes. <laughs> like popcorn, but like a type of ice cream. Perfect for a movie night. Thank you so much, Harper Collins and Stillman Chani team, and everybody that's a part of these boxes for people. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's all for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to subscribe, I would love that if you'd like to. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.